bit of further back on the run to Mersey's side. De Maurier, Gypsy Goddess the outside. Gypsy Goddess goes to De Maurier. Gypsy Goddess has grabbed the lead. Looks promising this one. Gypsy Goddess wins again. Gypsy Goddess continuing the great run for both David Van Dyke. And the incentivise, he was, uh, he, he's a big uh, gangly baby really and um, he, he thrashed him but obviously he's a really big stayer that could go four laps whereas she's got that brilliant, she had, like, has a turn of speed that um, you know, that sort of you, you don't feel too often so no, it's very exciting. No, we didn't have a huge opinion of her, she hadn't shown us a lot. Um, <clears throat> But every time we've asked her to step up, she's exceeded and excelled our expectations. Kabosh trying to hang on for third, then ironic miss, but Gypsy Goddess, the long odds on favourite, keeps her unbeaten record intact, and it's a great dress rehearsal for an Oaks campaign next year. A very easy winner. Gypsy Goddess by four. From uh, she's definitely earned her uh, shot at the big time, for sure. Um, yeah, she just was a bit of a surprise package, I think. she learns quite quickly, she's quite smart. Um, she obviously just didn't know her trade initially, I guess, and now everything she's done from here to now has just impressed us. I mean, you have four starts in your first prep and you win a group three. Um, you can't really ask much more of them from that. Oh, well, I came back in and I was obviously, uh, you know, very surprised and, uh, you know, I had a bit of a rap on her, I thought she did go quite well. Early, the inside Enterprise Mia, late Gypsy Goddess down the outside. Gypsy Goddess, I'm Winkles, you early. Gypsy Goddess, a big win. Gypsy Goddess has won from either. She gave me a fantastic feeling. Um, obviously, you can never be sure what they're going to go on and do, but, uh, you know, I was I was eager to stay on her, and and uh, she's gone on and to be, obviously, a Group 3 winner, and uh, she's proven she's proven everybody, or she's surprised everybody but um, she just keeps on giving. She's done everything we've asked of her, we can't ask anymore. She's definitely earned her shot, you know, out of group one. Um, but we do realise that we're going down into tougher company and we, you know, you never really know where you're at until race day, I mean. And also Gypsy Goddess on the outside. Gypsy Goddess dashed up, grabbed the lead. David has a fine art of just peaking a horse perfectly for a race. Um, She's really come on since that run. Her coat's improved. She looked like she's in great condition. Um, she's eating well. Uh, I think, yeah, the way that she won the race the other day is what excites everyone. Um, being that it was just a mile, it was first up, um, you know, and to win it the way she did, um, I think that's the impressive thing. And that's what gives us hope that, you know, going down and stepping up to that sort of her prime distance, um, that we can, yeah, take out one of the group ones, maybe both. Just because she, she was first up over the mile, uh, we got we got back and David, obviously, he's very big on just having a horse to be relaxed and um, he knows a horse probably better than what I do and he, he told me to get back and just just don't don't worry about where you are um, and, and just to have your best work being late. So I was back and I slowly st I started to increase into the race and. Um, the horse I wanted to be following didn't really take me into it, so I had to pop off its back quite early. Um, and she just went around them like they were nailed to the fence, and uh, the, the way she let go was sort of like a feeling I haven't had before. She doesn't have your usual personality of a good horse. Like, she hasn't got that sass or that sort of, yeah, attitude, I don't know. But she's very kind, she's easy. She's pretty relaxed, laid back. She's sort of always got her head over the door looking for a pat. She's very friendly. Um, at the races now, she's just so happy and content there. You know, last start she was standing in the stalls and David was concerned she was too quiet. He was like, oh, she looks like she's going to sleep. Like, have we got her too quiet now? But obviously not. She, you know, puts on the show when she needs to. So, so they've been great, uh, all the owners and Gypsy Goddess, especially Mr. Jones, you know, giving me the opportunity to ride her. Obviously, I broke her maiden and, um, you know, they, they were really good good to put me back on, um, you know, and it was great to get the job done again last week. Obviously, they filled me with, you know, plenty of confidence and putting me back on her. So, um, you know, it was great to get the job done. Obviously, you want to be associated with these great horses and, um, you know, the owners have been great enough to put me on uh, so far and uh, I I'd love to continue that success and um, you know she's a horse I'd love to ride again so.